Hey my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. Now today we are taking a pause, a breather, a day off. It's been 10 days and it's so easy to put excitement and progress first because we are on a deadline after all, but more to come on that. But it's also good to take a step away, recharge, renew, and come back with a new sense of purpose. Okay, so speaking of purpose, a ton of you have been asking me, well, what kind of racing are you actually doing? And your comments have helped me realize that maybe a quick explanation about this may put things into context. So I'm not just building a race car. I'm building an Ultra 4 car. And an Ultra 4 car has to be part rock crawler, part high speed desert or short track racer. And I'm not just building an Ultra 4 car. I'm building an Ultra 4 car for King of the Hammers, the hardest off-road race in the world. Now, let's be serious. A Jeep will never be the best vehicle for a race car, but it can actually be adapted to be a pretty decent Ultra 4 car, especially in certain classes. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those classes that you may see something like this in. Okay, so let's start with the 4400 class, the original unlimited class that actually started the King of the Hammers. And these cars compete during the main race at King of the Hammers and during KOH week. So the drivers in this class can't just turn up and race. They have to earn their spot. These cars are not limited to any tire size, engine size, chassis. In fact, the only requirement is that they meet the safety requirements. The unlimited class must have a transfer case because they must be able to be driven in four wheel drive. And this class, you can either have straight axle or IFS, independent front suspension. Okay, next you have the 4800 Legends class. This class has been racing in KOH since 2014 and is one of the three classes that races in the four wheel part Everyman Challenge. So the drivers in this class do not need to qualify to be part of the race. And this is one of the fastest growing classes in Ultra 4 because you can take an old Ultra 4 car and race it as long as you meet the requirements. In this class, you must only have a front mounted engine only, and you must have two seats side by side. You're only allowed a single shock per corner in this class class, also a maximum of 37 inch DOT non-sticky tires, and you're only allowed a solid axle in this class. No TDB and no IFS. Now let's move on to the 4600 class. The 4600 class has been racing in King of the Hammers since 2012 and is another class that takes part in the four wheel part everyman challenge. Now just as the 4800 class, the 4600 class drivers also do not have to qualify. You can turn up and race the everyman challenge but the requirements are you have to have stock oem frame factory engine factory transmission 35 inch dot tires single 2.5 diameter shocks on each corner and mechanical steering and finally, the class that I'll be participating in, the 4500 Unlimited class. Now, this class has been racing in Ultra 4 since 2012 and is part of the Four Wheel Part Everyman Challenge. Therefore, I can turn up on race day and race. Now, the requirements for this class is open motor, open transfer case, open transmission, a modified OEM chassis or OEM style chassis. And you can have two to two and a half diameter shocks on each corner, but it must be attached to the axle tube. You gotta have mechanical steering and 
37 inch DOT sticky tires. Now, one other thing I'm going to mention is actually the cage material depends on the weight of your vehicle. So if your vehicle is over 4,000 pounds, you must use two inch DOM tubing. But if it is below 4,000 pounds, then you can use a smaller diameter. Now, when the vehicle is finished, I'm going to take you around all the safety equipment for the vehicle and the passengers. But for now, let's take a look at what we have. This is, well, I mean, it was a 2018 Jeep Wrangler two-door. I wanted to build something that had a similar look and feel to my dedicated rock crawler and this little girl right here just fit the bill. As far as drivetrain, I have a slightly modified LS3 V8 motor that makes around 525 horsepower at the crank. That is paired with a 6L ATE automatic transmission and an Atlas transfer case geared 3 to 1. Now, of course, I'll be running Tom Woods drive shafts down to a set of Fusion 4x4 Dana 60 axles. Now, the rear has a spool and the front is a selectable air locker and I'll be running 538 gears. Many of you have already seen, but there'll also be KMC beadlocks wrapped in BFG DOT 37 rubber, helping transfer all that LS power to the ground. And R1 concept brakes helping bring this to a stop. My seats, harnesses, and steering wheel are all from PRP, and all my personal safety gear is from Pyrotech. The vehicle has a massive 35 gallon fuel cell, also equipped with a spare tire and tools. That's something that we're going to review later on as well. Now, I hope this explains what and why I'm building this. And honestly, building this the way that we're building it, not ideal. It would be way easier and way cheaper to just buy an old Ultra 4 car, turn up, and race the Everman Challenge. But us being us, we like to push the limits a little more. I want to learn more things. I really want to get into this sport across the board and off-road. And heck yeah, we're doing it slowly but surely. So I know we said that we're having a day off. I'm actually going to stay here, get a couple of things done today. And um, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.